Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, uh, provider of Fujitsu Cobol for Windows, .NET, and for the uh, Linux platform. Um, in addition to that, there is the Neo Suite for Batch, um, CICS, and also for Neo Data, which allows your data to be seen through SQL Server. Very cool project. But today what we're here to do is to take a look at NetCobol for Windows Project Manager. Um, there are two ways to get to the Project Manager. One is to go to your Start option and your Programs, looking for NetCobol for Fujitsu NetCobol V10 and the Project Manager. Um, what I prefer to do is to have a base project built. You can do that through the Cobol Project Manager and build it from scratch or start up from a base one. In this particular case we're going to go to a base one that I already have created for this sample and I'm going to double click on it. In this case it's COBOL from vb6.prj and double click and the reason we're using COBOL from vb6 is that a future tutorial will show us how we can integrate a call from vb6 directly to your COBOL program. Um, continuing on, as we look across the top of the bar, we have a number of options. You have your file, your edit, your project, your view, your tools, um, your environment that you want to run in, and then any help topics. One thing to note, um, what you have available to you is dependent on what you have highlighted here in many of the cases. So if you don't see something highlighted that you want and be able to get to it, try adjusting what you actually have selected within your project. Um, in this particular case we have a number of functions you can save or save as and as you notice it kind of the text comes up telling you what that particular button will do. Um, you can compile for debug or for release. Um, you have the option of here's your compiler options I'm sorry and you can set those and I'm going to bring this down so you can see it a little better I apologize and if you look here you have these particular compiler options we can click add and you can see that you have many different options to pick from the help does a real nice job of showing you um, the various compiler options and keywords and so forth that you can select from. But that's outside the scope of this particular tutorial. It's just good to know that it's there and we'll click done and I'll press cancel here. Um, the other thing that you have is you have your linker options and in here you can specify how you want this to be linked. In this particular case I want to export it as CBL from VB. Note whenever you name your programs including in your program um, ID your name, make sure it stays all uppercase uh, so that everything can be found properly. Do not mix the upper and lower case syntax. Um, we'll click cancel here and kind of move on a few more things. Here is your build option and your rebuild option. Okay, The name of the DLL that you wish to make is what you name here. As you notice some of these um, changed around for copying, pasting, and so forth. Uh, if we open this DLL up, we can see how it's built, what it's made of. Um, you do have the option of creating more references, um, of debugging through it, and we'll show that in a later tutorial. You can create folder for the object files, the library files, and your definition files as well as IDL files. Again, outside the scope of this, the help does a real nice job of covering what those are. And if we come into here, we'll notice that this particular DLL, DLL is made up of this program. If we double click on this program, we comes up with an editor. Um, and again, you could have used the select options and we'll bring this down into the window and you can see our COBOL program. Um, this particular case, again, uppercase, it matches what the syntax is of our um, export. And this program will receive three variables, data1, data2, and data3. And um, data1 and data2 are processed and returned back data3. Uh, so, kind of all makes sense. We'll exit out of this real quickly. 
and in order to build this particular routine it's really quite simple we'll click back on this routine notice that these highlighted and we'll go ahead and do our build All right, in this particular case I'm just going to do a rebuild for the particular item and you can notice that it rebuilt fine for us and we now have a DLL that we can call from VB. Um, so I think that covers our tutorial. I realize that was a fast high level, but it should at least get you able to browse and get going inside your COBOL program. Questions, concerns, wish for more tutorials or changes, um, you can contact me at mmoser at alchemysolutions.com or matt, M-A-T-T -T underscore moser, M-O-S-E-R, at mosersoft.com. Have a great day and thank you for your time.